Hey guys, it's Zyron Zero yet again. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck is wrong with my world? You're seeing explosions and freaking towers like crazy, and then my fractured cannon over here. Anyway, I'm going to let you know what I've been up to. I've been making uh, new cobblestone generators. Um, actually, the new version that I have uh, gives a player a 100% chance of collecting cobblestone without the lava destroying it. And in this video, I'll be teaching you how to do that. Okay, what you're going to need is, of course, a pickaxe and a shovel, some blocks, some sand, uh, one bucket of lava, four buckets of, lo of <laughs> lava water. No, it's water, actually. Um, and redstone gear, some pistons, torches in case it gets dark and you don't have a bed. I have a bed just now, so all right, I'm ready. Now, what you want to do, it depends on if you want it to pop up or anything. This is the model we're going to be making, by the way. Um, now, what you can do is you can actually dig four blocks deep. <laughs> oh, prepare. This is going to be the boring part. All right. So, anyway, um, I really did not take measurements. I assume it's a five by five area. Yes. Okay. Great. Man, if I fall in a cave, that will be the end of this video. Alright, let's see. That one sticks up, and we need just regular three. Alright, let's see. Wish me luck. So, yeah, it's been a while since I posted any videos. A lot of you are probably commenting on that. Um, yeah, I've been busy, actually. Been busy with my personal life here in Costa Rica, and um, and yeah, pretty much I have to really get back in the game. I also plan on upgrading my computer, Woot, and that'll be awesome once that happens. All right, we're almost done here. Okay, once you enter the last floor of the four square deep, whatever. All right. So you can start by actually getting the pistons. Let's get them out of the way first. Um, You'll be putting them in an arrangement like that. Put a block in the middle. I don't even know why I destroyed that one. And then get our redstone because now it's out of the way. And make a little fun, silly ring like this. All right, great. You're doing good. Keep it up. I have a shovel. What am I doing? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to teach you how to make a very tiny clock, something that uses only one torch and all that fun stuff as well. Let's see here. Put even one block here. Let's just get this part out of here. Do that. Put the dust right here. Pile blocks on top of that. Now, wherever the redstone is under, for instance, is under this block, you want to send the repeater towards the opposite direction. And then quickly set it to the last setting. Great. Okay. Now, this clock is very small. It's not very rapid. And um, setting it to 3 out of 4 is actually the ultimate stressful test you can do to that timer. Fun stuff. Anyway, that's just like the lock mechanism. In case you start a new world and all that fun stuff, you have to reset everything. Woot. So yeah, you can pretty much just trap yourself. Not a big deal. Unless you're trying to get out. You know, not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Then you'll do that. Now those holes is where the water goes, and uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, it's okay. I fixed it. All right. So these are the five holes we're going to be using. The corner ones will consist of water. Very excellent. And then this other one will have lava. 
Now, be careful not to destroy any of these four blocks. Or else that lava will turn into obsidian and your day is going to be ruined. So to prevent this, let's do the smart thing and cover up everything. Gives you the most minimal chance of really messing up. Now you're probably wondering what the sand is for. And easily just deploy a stack of four or five right in the middle. Uh, right. Flip the switch. And now we wait. Yeah, it's a pretty nice model, you know. Only one lava, so you're not really risking a huge trip or wasting any steel buckets. And as you see, there's the lava's like way underneath all this ground. So, pretty much, you can just um, collect at your own pleasure. Go at your own speed. Now, the sand in the middle is to prevent the hole in the middle because it gets annoying when you uh, start trying to pick up blocks and falls in the middle, gets stuck, you know. Everything starts to suck after that. Uh, more frame rate. Okay, that can help. Okay. But yeah, no worry about anything being destroyed. Um, it does make a tower, so it's perfect for outside in case you want to mark your territory and then walk around and then wonder where the heck you are. It's perfect for it. If you don't want it to be that tall, what I suggest doing is above this third block over here, after the towers are built, of course, um, try destroying a few blocks underneath here. Then quickly put a freaking stove, furnace, whatever you call it, right in that block, above three blocks. That way you have a very decent um, build rate for the entire generator, and it won't be too tall to be like very insulting or anything like that. Now, um, let's see, and how do you destroy the rest of the blocks? Pretty much you just collect a lot of dirt, sand, whatever pile yourself up there and then chop it all down anyway so that was my um, my generator tutorial it's pretty freaking awesome actually it's better than my last one if you have the time to collect the redstone and all that fun stuff um, if you like my previous design too fine so be it but this one has a 100% chance or 99 I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna be pretty sure that there's gonna be some jerk who's gonna be like hey 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 you know, I'm gonna collect everything Anyway, so that was my video. Zarm Zero, son.